This is me. So, all I need to do when I want to make a video, I wear makeup. And, uh, <laughs> you can see my hair. This is, you can call if you want to see me properly. So hello and welcome to my channel so this is an expose done by Gis Lova with the permission of Halima Abubarka regarding her encounter with Pastor Suleiman how Pastor Suleiman has ruined her life Halima Abubarka is dying gradually so this is a story you need to read up and follow up you know she's dying gradually she's, there's lots of evidences you just need to relax and watch until the end to read along years ago when alima abubakar came to learn light she met apostle suleiman through a friend and he started sleeping with her so to so halima then she had seen a mugu a mugu man sponsoring all her expensive life suleiman bought her a house two cars and made her travel all over the world it was during those years Suleiman's church was just coming to limelight. Everybody around Halima envied her then. She kept lying to her colleagues that Suleiman is her uncle until some of them later found out it wasn't true. And then they tried to snatch Suleiman from her. Halima was among the first set of girlfriends Suleiman had then before Ruth Kadri, Iyabo Oju, Danilo Keke. And then uh, okay, okay, and the rest came into the picture. The whole wahala started when all of a sudden Halima got pregnant just so she could secure her space with Suleiman. As Suleiman now had other actresses he was sponsoring. There were a lot of them. See, you can actually read on your own because I intend to be skipping. I'm going to be skipping like I'm just going to be picking very important parts. So she told Suleiman she was pregnant. Suleiman told her point blank that he didn't want the baby, that Halima just ruined what he was doing. That he wasn't supposed to get a woman pregnant at the time. All Halima's pleas fell on deaf ears as Suleiman was so mad that and told her to abort it, but she refused. But before we could say Jack Robinson, she started bleeding and lost the pregnancy. So even after the bleeding, you know, after she lost the pregnancy, she kept on bleeding heavily. They took her to so many places. They asked her to beg Suleiman. She begged him. He stopped picking her call. She became lean. And some reactions began to appear on her body. And so this is the second part of the story. You can complete. I don't want to read. But you can tell me if you prefer me to read. Because I'm just trying to, you know, make the video pretty short. So this is the, you know, this is part of the story. It's actually a long expose that has been running for some days on Instagram. This event went on to mention a whole lot of people. Suleiman is having an affair with the writer people he has slept with. Yabojo, Lilian Baj, the list is long and endless, you know. So this is actually the evidence of um, Halima's chat with Gislova. For those of you who do not know Halima, Halima is actually, um, she's a Nollywood actress. She was born in Kanu. She's a Kanu lady. This is the evidence of her swollen tummy. Even though she is not pregnant, but her tummy is perpetually bloated. Whenever she wants to make a picture on Instagram, she edits her pictures. But this is what she looks like in real life. She used to be chubby and hotter than this. But she has changed so much because of her situation. Now take a look at how big her tummy is. This is pretty disturbing and sad. Pastor Suleiman needs to answer for this evil he has done to this lady. This is so much for one person to deal with and it's pretty sad. So you can see the whole evidence against this man and I really do hope, you know, his brother just is sad that the religious leaders in Nigeria are like sacred cows that can't be touched, which is pretty sad. I feel like if a religious leader is, he should be tried. You know, he shouldn't be above the law. So that is about Pastor Suleiman. And I am excited that Ali Halima finally opened up to Gistova. I believe her healing process has started because I mean she has been silent for such a long time, and I feel like her si when your silence in the mid when evil is being done to you, you're you know kind of making that evil 
tribe like look at this person saying look at the names of the people that have been with this man a whole lot of nollywood just actresses. give me a little time uh, um, i'll mm -hmm. i'll write back i'm just like i can't type not something I'll somebody write, should do with just give me a little time uh, um, scared I'll, for her i'll write back to I'm just, just, one day she i can't type they wake from, up and hear that she's dead this is what her tummy looks like this is exactly what her tummy looks like and this is how she appears on the ground whenever she wants to take photographs you know she takes her time hides her makeup while she's living in pain so my opinion now tell me what you think i think it's not necessary why why has she been living a fake life lie that you had a baby lie that you're happy if not for this just lovers expose i mean there are things that you shouldn't hide you need to open up and talk let people know what you're passing through well, the moment they know what you're passing through, they will come true for you. In the end, I would say don't be fooled by social media. Be proud of what you do. Be proud of your hustle. As long as you're comfortable, you have a roof over your head. You, you have enough to, uh, to care for your loved ones. Your loved ones, even if you don't have enough to care for your loved ones. I mean, they can, they will be fine. They can sort themselves. But just money, there is really no point doing all these things. At the end, look at Halima. She has sold off everything she got from Suleiman, yet there is no cure. She's dying gradually. One day, we'll wake up to news of her death. And of course, people will come on social media and cry. Make noise. We all know Bob Bisky. Bob Bisky never misses an opportunity to chase clouds. He came to you know, blame Gislova and for posting Halima's story. And of course, Halima called him out saying that she hates him so much. She doesn't want to hear anything about He shouldn't be involved in her business. That after all, he mocked her when she was sick. You see, eh, if cloud chasing does not kill Bob Risky, nothing will kill him in this life. Such a terrible human being.